start. Okay, so uh, we are in account kawalan bab 5. I mean, account kawalan is part of bab 5. Lima, bab 5 is the topic of ledger. Alright. Okay, so ledger. So now uh, we are doing this one. Just give you an idea, the format. All right, so this is what we have done. So uh, this account kawalan, ada account kawalan belum terima and account kawalan belum bayar. Okay, so in last class, I already explained why we're using this one, why we're using this one, uh, this one, and then how do we record? Okay, and then what are the things that uh, we cannot put inside the account kawalan belum terima? Contoh, Dia tak boleh letak jalan tunai, tak boleh letak peruntukan hutang ragu dan hutang lapuk terpulih. These are the three things, tiga benda yang tidak boleh diletakkan dalam your account kawalan belum terima. Mana kalau for your account kawalan belum bayar, you tak boleh letak belian tunai. Okay, it's not belian lah, it's belian tunai. Okay. And then the jualan yang kat sini is you nampak ada jualan tunai yang tak boleh. Tapi what about the jualan here? The jualan here is actually the jualan apa? The jualan credit. Okay, same for here. The belian here is actually a belian secara credit. Okay, so I really took time explain to you what is the difference between jualan secara credit dan jualan secara tunai. When you add them up together, you get your jumlah jualan. So this is something that you need to remember because later on, when you uh, go into your uh, form 5, I mean for those that are in form 5 already, you, you may mang tahu that uh, in your bug dua, record the link up, we are using this thing. Alright? So for those that have been through this one, this is actually very simple for your uh, bab 2 form 5, record talent cup. You need to do account kawalan belum terima. From there, you get your jualan credit. Can you see not? Your jualan credit. And then you put it here. So it's actually equals to your jualan credit plus your jualan tunai. Okay. Jualan sejauh credit plus your jualan tunai. Then you get your jumlah Jalan. And then same for your belian. So your jumlah belian JB equals to your apa, belian secara kredit, belian kredit plus your belian secara tunai. So this is how you get your jumlah belian. Alright, so skip it. Now let's move on to the last question of this chapter. Question 6. Okay, so from this question six, you will see something like this. All these are what we call the buku catatan pertama. Remember, so in buku catatan pertama, you have the jurnal amla, jurnal jualan lah, jurnal belian lah. Okay, jurnal pulangan, jualan pulangan, belian and buku tunai. These are the things in your buku catatan pertama. Alright, and then now, berdasarkan buku catatan pertama tersebut. Apa yang kamu nampak ke sini, okay, anda dikehendaki A, menyediakan akaun kawalan belum terima to akaun kawalan belum bayar and then B, menghitung jumlah jualan dan jumlah belian. So, if you want to get this one, you must guna your jualan tunai, JT, plus your jualan secara kredit, JK. Alright, and then to get your jumlah belian is what I mentioned just now, isn't it? Your jumlah belian equals to your bel, uh, jumlah belian, I mean sorry, your jumlah belian equals to your belian BT, belian tunai, belian tunai plus your belian credit. So, where can we find this jualan tunai? When you want to find a jualan yang secara tunai, 
Very simple. You just come to Buku tonight. You can get anything. You just see all oh, jualan. So all this jualan is actually your jualan tonight. But then, what about your jualan credit? I don't know. How much is your jualan credit? So in order to find your jualan credit, we have to do our account kawalan belum terima. Because in this account kawalan belum terima, we'll be able to find what is the jualan credit. Do you understand or not? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. Okay, yeah, but it's, uh, this one is pretty simple already because they actually given you lah. So, but for this uh, ABT at the end, kita nak find the baki bibi lah later. All right, so same thing. Buku tunai, I mean, sorry, buku tunai. Belian tunai, you can actually find from here. This two. So when you see a belian, you see me? Berlian secara bank, maksudnya is a berlian tunai. You see ada berlian tak? Okay, so this is the only meaning. Your berlian tunai is 8,900. You see it? But what about the berlian credit? Berlian credit you can get from your account current berlian terima. Or you can actually get from here. Alright. Okay, so... Let's do the account koran belum terima dulu. Just like your ledger. Okay, remember when we do ledger, ledger there are dua, two ways they will ask you. Okay, the first way is to ask you to uh, from ayat. Okay, they give you a lot of ayat and then they want you to do ledger. And then another bentuk is, actually there are three bentuks, alright? So another bentuk ialah they can ask you from document become a ledger straight into a ledger. Number third is they can ask you to do from buku catatan pertama into a ledger. Ah, ayat to ledger example this one. This is all the ayat, and then they nak record urus nega dalam ledger. So this is ayat to ledger. This one can you see now all the buku cahaya pertama here, and then they want you to do apa? Recordkan ke dalam ledger. Is it? So this is the buku cahaya pertama to ledger. The only thing that they haven't done yet is this document to ledger. And why don't I give you? Because when you know how to change from document into buku cadangan pertama, then you can go from here into ledger actually. It's the same thing. So if you know how to read a document, definitely you can change from here straight away into ledger. It's easier. Alright? So now same thing, you come to buku kawalan, uh, account kawalan, so account kawalan last week, all we did was from ayat, like this one. All this ayat. Da, 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 and then you perlu menyediakan account kawalan belum terima. Ayat, ayat, buat account kawalan belum terima dan account kawalan belum bayar. Okay, but this week, this class, you have to do from buku yang pertama into account kawalan belum terima dan account kawalan belum bayar. Alright, so now take out your... Workbook. Let's do this question five. I mean, sorry, question six. So you have to open an account for two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
need too many too much lines. So this is account kawalan belum terima. Then the one is account kawalan belum bayar. So this year a and then account kawalan belum bayar. Here, a just do this and skip like ten, maybe ten lines. Then you draw the major again, and now this is for. Account kawalan belum bayar. Alright, then we get Malaysia. We get Malaysia. We get Malaysia. We get Malaysia. Then the year. This will be in uh, 2021, right? All this thing happening in 2021. Okay. Are you guys ready? If yes, give me an R in the chat box. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So since you guys are ready, let's go. So remember, for account kawalan belum terima, we must always start with the baki awal. Okay. So now let's focus on account kawalan belum terima dulu. So the baki awal, the baki bibi, normally will be given in a jurnal arm. Right here. So this thing is actually all your baki. On 1st October, all these things are your baki awal. Okay, and then how do we know which one to take, which figure? So now we're looking at what? Account kawalan belum terima. So you just look at the account belum terima. So in your account belum terima, ada tiga. Kedalisa, Pasar Sini Jenny, and Syarikat Jisoo. Alright, so now we're going to do is, because there are three, and I only got one account, account kawalan belum terima. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you add up Lisa, Jenny, and Jisoo together. Alright, so you tambah lah. 13,000 plus 6,400 plus 1,280. How much you get? Then you need to take out your calculator. Uh, 13,000 plus 6,400 plus 1,280. So you get 20,000 here. You jumlahkan, you get 20,600. Yes or no? If yes, you give me a Y. If Salah, give me an N for no. One, I'm sorry. 20680. Yes, ah? Why, ah? All right, very good. So, Maksudnya, this our baki awal is twenty thousand six hundred six hundred eighty, and I told you the baki awal we will use what we use baki bb. This is the butiran for all your baki awal. So here and see this abt is actually asset, All right? And asset when your baki will be in the debit side. Yeah, this is what I have. Mention, emphasize, and explain in last class. All right. But if you're still confused, you forget about your this thing, which is called Abalim. All right. Because here is the asset, B is the belanja, 
A is the ambulant, L is the liability, H is the hasil, and M is the model. So, because a count balloon terminal is an asset, therefore the baki will be here. Baki will be baki awal. And this will be on, uh, because it's awal, so you follow this date, October. Or is it OC? It should be OK. OC is English. October 1. Then the jumla is 20,680. So put. You don't put one by one. Huh? You don't go by Lisa, Jenny. This is just go for one name. Account, balloon, terima. All right? 20,680. Okay? So let's say you forget about upper limb because in exam, you are so kanchong. All right? You are so nervous. Because you're sitting on exam, so suddenly you're shaking and then you suddenly black out. You forget about all the abalim, the debit and credit. Very simple. You just look at this ABT. What is this figure in? Is it the debit side or credit side? Obviously, all these three figures you add up together, 20,680 is where? Right under the debit column. All right? So if this is right under the debit column, your figure should be in the debit side. You know that this is the debit side. This is the credit side, right? So this side is the debit side. This side is the credit side. So you just follow. This is in the debit side. So this figure will be in the debit side. Do you understand or no? If yes, you give me a U for understand. All right. Sometimes I know there are a lot of things to remember. So you can use this kind of shortcut to remember. All right. Okay. So next, look at your account balloon bias. Same thing. We if we need to do a baki our baki bb for account balloon terima, then I have to do the same thing for my account uh, balloon bias juga. All right. So in the kawalan balloon bias. So now we've got penegaan rows for your balloon bias. You got pembuka Jessica and pemborong Kim. Okay. So now this three lah, right? Because from Boron Kim is 7960, the Penegan Rose is 16,400. So now you add up this three together. Is 16,400 plus 20,200 plus 7960. You get 44,044. 560. Right. This is a figure. Okay. So, maksudnya, the jumlah account belum bayar baki awal is this figure. 44,560. Let's say you forget about Abad Lin. What are you going to do? Look at here. This figure are all in the credit side. Therefore, your figure should be in the credit side for your belum bayar. So here you put 44,560. And what do you write here? This is a baki awal. So baki awal, I told you just now, use this word baki bb for all your baki awal. So baki bb. What's the date? Take from where? You take from October 1st. So here you put October 1st. Okay or not? If okay, you hear me? Okay in the chat box. Okay, all right. Okay, now this is a chara one way. Okay, let's say you forget. So you just copy from credit. Let's say you are really, really, really sorry to use the word but stupid, but I believe like most of you here, you are not. It's just that you're lazy. You're too lazy to study. That's why you get feel for your accounting. Okay, but after you know what to do, you learn, you follow the, my method, you go and study, you do my homework, definitely you can jump from fail to pass, from pass to B, from B to A min, from A min to A or even A plus. All right? So let's say you, now you are very blur, you don't know what is going on. You don't even, you can't even see that this is under credit. Then let me give you another way. Okay, because in life, there are many ways you can choose. 
right? So it's up to you. So now I'm offering another way to do this is if you know how to do this one, account kawalan balloon terima, you see the bucky DD is in the debit side, then the account kawalan balloon bayar, which is the opposite, should be on the other side, which is here. You know what I mean? Meaning, balloon terima can never be the same side with the balloon bayar. They must always be up and down. Just like you're up and down, left and right, they must be opposite. You can just say left and right is also here. No, lah. if you say left is here, automatically I know that right is on this side. Lah. Do you get what I mean? If I know that this is up, definitely got senior lah, down. Lah. If this is black, then this is white. Lah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. So now we know that balloon terima and balloon buyer is like totally opposite of each other. Just like man and woman, male and female, boy and girl. It's like side. So when you want to go to a washroom, if the man side is here, I know that the other one must be the girl toilet. Lah. You like you think that this is for men, they really show you the shape. This is for men when your toilet, you still go in. Even you are good, you are good. No, you know that this is a man toilet. Then the other one, even there's no sign, you would think that this is a toilet for women. So it's the same thing. Use the same logic to do accounting here. So if volume terima is here in the debit, then volume buyer is in the credit. This is the second way that you can use. And then the third way is by this abalim. So you know that this account balloon buyer is a liability and liability, can you see now, my L, abalim, L is on the credit side here. So credit side, maksudnya my baki bibi will be in the credit side also. Are you guys following all these three ways? If yes, give me a three in the chat box. Tiga. Uh, all right. So next, so after putting in all the account, uh, sorry, the all the baki awa, the baki bibi inside here, then now we move on to the next step. All right, we start to look through the uh, apa, maklumat kat sini. Now they don't give us words, they give us this uh, buku syang pertama. So we need to include this informasi, we need to translate, transfer this data into our ledger account kawalan belum terima and account kawalan belum bayar. Right, and of course, it, it is best that we remember the what are the things here and what are the things here. But even if you don't, it's okay. All right, because um, somehow you can use logic to think. All right, so for example, give an example. Ah. Okay, so now after we done this one, now we come to here. Look at 25th. Hutang Lapok and account belum terima syarikat Jisoo. 1280-1280. Can you see the account belum terima sini syarikat Jisoo? Alright. So this one, how do you record? So when you see account belum terima, ABT, and... This is actually a, a account kawalan, even though there's another extra word kawalan, but it's actually the same. Account belum terima. So when they mention account belum terima syarikat jiso, meaning this will straight away go into your account kawalan belum terima. So, and where is it? Your ABT, your account, kawalan, uh, account belum terima syarikat jiso is where? 1280 is in the credit side. So use common sense. If this is in the credit side, maksudnya my 1,280 will be in the credit side of my kawan number number. Therefore, yeah, 1,280, oh, bam. And then, from where? So here, butiran, of course, you cannot say, account belum terima syarikat jiso. First thing, I slap your head first. Second thing, I tell you, you can never write the same name on the same side. So let's say now you're recording on the credit side. So, like here, you're recording in the credit side. So, the booty run, this is the booty run part. So, in your booty run, you must write the name of the other account. So, let's say now it's Sharika G. So, we are under ABT. So, another, another account will be your Hutang Lapo. Therefore, here I put Hutang Lapo. And here, 
you should we put to the last date. The last date for October is 30th. So October 30th. 30th, right? 30th, November 8th, 30th, 31st. Slap myself first. Should be 31st, right? October, then November is 30th, 30th, and then December is 31st. Yeah, so October is 31st. Do you get for this one? If yes, you give me a H for Kutang Lapok. And when you double check to the format of this account government balloon terminal that I gave you, which is on the one, the second page, you can see that this is account government balloon terminal, right? Account government balloon terminal. You see, ah, hutang lapo is in the credit side juga, and your hutang lapo is on the same side. Sama. Ah, all right, okay. Now, continue. After that one, we try another one. Ah, okay. So we done for this one. Okay, then 27th. This is actually angkutan, you cancel 1A extra. Okay, so angkutan and peniagaan rose. This is rose. Okay, not roses, rose. Okay, 240. Okay, so who is this peniagaan rose? Okay, is actually, you see, you refer back here, account belum bayar peniagaan rose. Is here. Maksudnya, this peningan rose is your account belum bayar. Maksud you belum bayar kepada peningan rose. And this account belum bayar peningan rose is actually under will be under our account kawalan belum bayar. It's just like what you saw just now for this jiso. Uh, All right. So now we do the same thing for rose. Okay, so this penegaan rose is our ABB lah, right? In front, you can put the ABB because this is ABB penegaan rose. So ABB penegaan rose 240. And I told you the same thing. So if you see a 240 for this ABB is in the credit side, so automatically we can put it in the credit side of your account kawalan belum bayar juga. So here, 240. Just see the site. If it's credit, then you put in your credit. Okay, so here, what do you write? Yeah, you write um, the name of the account of the other account. So if we are under ABB here, we credit. So another account will be called Angkutan. So I write Angkutan here. This is October. Put the, put the last date. 31st, mid October, just 31st will do. Okay or not? If okay, give me an A in the chat box. A. Okay. So you just need to understand. So what I'm giving you now is the method to, this, to do the question. After I give you a method, after you understand it, later I give you homework you do. So you do, you practice it, then the master become yours. So you just use what you got and do the question. And you go to the exam, you use the same method also. All right? Unless you got a better way, of course, you can go ahead. But what I'm giving you now is the basic tools, okay? Basic equipment for you, for you to use and fight with accounting. All right, you don't have to fight with accounting, but you can be friend with them actually, right? Because they are not that bad if you know them. Okay. So just like before you know our friends, you at first you might first impression Mereka Bagi is like, oh, you mean my team at best lah orang ni. Uh, at first, lah, okay, you guys are not friends yet. So after you some encounter, hey you guys fight before, after fighting, you're the friend or you you, you jadi member. Okay, you just the uh, best friends are gonna be FF. Every day go out, every day what call, every day Insta, Snap, uh, and so on. So now the thing is, you might think that accounting is very frustrating and uh, annoying, but once you know, you understand accounting, and you be friend with them, then you see that accounting is actually very very easy to deal with. It's like how you deal with your friends. All right. So now you come to this general jualan. This dinner jualan, you just you don't have to look at all these things. Uh, you just look at this part. 
Okay, let's look at this part. Okay, so jualan meaning account jualan. And by the way, when you see this journal jualan, this account jualan is actually all the jualan secara credit. Okay, when you want to find jualan credit, you find from this journal jualan. When you want to find jualan tunai, what do you find? You go to your buku tunai. When you want to find Berlian credit, what do you find? You find from your journal Berlian. Okay, it's your Berlian credit. Okay, but then if you want to find your Berlian tunai, what do you find? You find from your buku tunai here. This is your Berlian tunai. All right, so how do you recover this? So this is account jualan, meaning jualan uh, secara credit. So jualan credit, we can record in our uh, kawalan belum terima. All right, so how do you record? So now, look at this one. If account jualan, here credit, maksud if you book an account jualan, kita have to credit it. This is how we record for account jualan. And here will be your ABT, account belum terima. So if account jualan kita credit on the credit side, maksudnya our ABT or our account kawalan belum terima, we have to debit it. So here you put jualan. And how much? The jumlah is 12,840. Boom. And this is October 31st. All right. So same thing for your journal Berlian. So you see a DT here, the debit here. Maksudnya, when you have an account Berlian, you believe, so you debit. And here you write account belum bayar. All right, so here you should have debit your account Berlian. So after I debit account Berlian, another account I must credit. And so I need to credit my account belum bayar here. So here will be your Berlian. Jumlah is 30,200. That's why you remember, look at here, Jolan on the debit side of your account belum terima, you look back to the format, it's the same. Your jualan memang in the debit side of your account belum terima. And then your Berlian memang is on the credit side of your account belum bayar. Look at here. Does it make sense to you? If yes, you give me an M in the chat box. Okay. I say Anna. Oh, sorry. Actually, I meant M. But maybe I pronounce it as N. Okay, it's all right. Because M for making sense, ma. right? Makes sense. So M. But okay, N. Okay, don't worry. So now, next, pulangan jalan. So use the same common sense. Huh? Use the same logic. Huh? Look here. Account pulangan jalan. Let's say you have an account pulangan jalan. Account pulangan jalan. EJ. So see this debit, maksudnya if we have to record for account pulangan jualan, I have to debit my account pulangan jualan. For here, this uh, pulangan jualan jualan meaning we are linking to our account belum terima, ABT. So if I debit my pulangan jualan, memang another account I have to what? I have to credit it because of what? System chatteran bergu. If we go by system chatteran bergu, when I debit the account, I must credit account B. If I Debit account B, I must credit account C. You know what I mean? It must be debit credit. It can never be debit debit or credit credit. It must be opposite. Just like up and down, left and right. All right. So now I already debit my account belum uh, account pulangan jualan. Therefore, I have to credit my account belum terima here from where from pulangan jualan. So here I write pulangan jualan. One one two. So same thing, when you come to journal pulangan belen, this belen is always, pulangan belen is always linked to your account belum bayar. All right, so let's say you open a journal pulangan belen, I'm uh, sorry, account pulangan belen, and this is where, in the credit side. So if I credit my pulangan belen, also I have to debit lah, so I have to debit my APB. So here, debit side. October 31st from Pulangan 
ini jumlah 380 so for all this journal right you don't have to look at all these things you just look at the jumlah 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 so all these cancel off jumlah okay so after we done all the journal now we move on to the last part the buku tonight okay so for your buku tonight you have to be careful all right so let's say let's focus on this part first okay so we got jualan so this part lah, the debit side first lah. okay so we got jualan and this jualan in the buku tonight meaning this is jualan tonight and do we have to record jualan tonight in our account belum terima no don't need all right, so we can skip it. Okay, Kedalisa. Who is this Kedalisa? Kedalisa, if you're not sure, you can check back. The Kedalisa is actually our... Uh, Kedalisa. Uh, Kedalisa is our ABT, account balloon terima. So maybe here you can put the ABT. Pasa Mini Jenny. Jenny, uh, our ABT juga, can you see now? ABT Pasa Mini Jenny. Okay, so Jenny is ABT. Okay, lepas tu jalan jalan maksudnya jalan tunai jalan tunai JT JT tak berkaitan with our account belum terima. Okay, so how do we recover this Kedalisa dan Pasa Mini uh, Jenny? Alright, so first you have to look at this one. Okay, so look at second. Eh? Let's look at Kedalisa first. What does it mean? Meaning, kita terima wang. Kita terima wang daripada Kedalisa uh, Lisa because this is debit side. And this is buku tonight. Meaning, my bank. Can you see now? Look at this Lisa. Focus there, Lisa. This here. Let me take out my highlighter. Let yeah, highlight this thing. Ah, okay, just focus here. So Lisa, six hundred ringgit under discount. This is actually a discount delivery. Then this is discount delivery. All right. So six hundred kita berikan discount kepada kepada Lisa six hundred ringgit, and then. Kita dapat 12,400 ringgit from Lisa into our bank account. So when they say debit and bank meaning money comes into my bank. Debit means in. So money comes in daripada siapa? Daripada Lisa. Alright. So what about six? Your pasal mini Jenny. Jenny juga kita berikan 400 ringgit discount kepada Jenny. And then... Dia bayar 6,000 ringgit kepada kita in our bank account. So now, these two are berkaitan dengan ABT, right? So we only focus on these two. And then you add up these two, what is the jumlah? So 12,400 plus 6,000, how much do you get? You get 18,400. And you plus this two up, how much you get? 600 plus 400, do you get? 1,000 for your discount. So how do you record these two? So remember, uh, we don't go one by one. Uh. We jumlah kan, then only we throw into our kawalan. This kawalan is always take the jumlah figure. Okay? Kita nak jumlah saja, kita tak nak break down punya figure. Okay, so now, see. This discount... Kita record dalam debit side. This 1,000 for this jumlah discount is in the debit side. Because here, see, it's in the debit side. DT, debit side. So now, I already debit my discount. So if I already debit my discount, I must credit my ABT. So in ABT here, credit side, now I record what is this. This is actually a discount debit. How much you jumlah, then you get 1,000. This one. So same thing. Look at your bank. See properly. This bank is actually in the debit side. 
Maksudnya, I already debited my bank. If I already debit my bank, I must what? Credit my account belum terima. This one. So here in the credit side, same thing. Now I put from bank. And then 12,400 plus 6,000, I get 18,400. Are you following? If yes, you give me an F in the chat box. Following ah, good. Okay, so that's it because all the rest adalah tak kaitan. All these are jalan tunai. Jalan tunai, I really say no jalan tunai. And you can see that all this bank, you see all here pulangan jalan, pulangan jalan, bank, discount delivery. You see now, ah all will be on the credit side of your account account bill term. All right, so let's continue. So after we done this part, now we focus on the credit side. So perniagaan rose, okay, is the ABV. Perabot, ada kaitan lah perabot. Perabot memang tak ada berkaitan dengan ABT or ABB kan? Alright, so perabot is account perabot and then tunai. So this one is tak berkaitan. Pembekal Jessica, yes, is our ABB. Ada to this, ada berkaitan lah? Tak ada lah. Okay, memang tak ada berkaitan dengan account belum bayar. Okay, then pemborong Kim, yes. Pembekal Jessica, yes. Berlian, this is actually a Berlian tunai. And Berlian tunai, do you have to record? Tak perlu. See, here, Berlian tunai, I don't want. Not that I don't want, but account kawalan belum bayar tanah. See, no Berlian tunai. Okay, so, come back here. So all this penegang Rose, Pembeka, Jessica, Pemborong, Kim, you see, is the ABB. So therefore, if they are ABB, meaning I have to put into my account kawalan belum bayar. Okay, so now, let me highlight the important one. This one, penegang Rose, Pembeka, Jessica, all this ABB, Pemborong, Kim, Pemborong Kim and Pembekal Jessica Kim. Okay. So, as you can see, there are like a few here. So, now, do the same thing. You jumlakan. You only jumlakan what is highlighted. Lah. So, let's say 400, 900. Right. So, you, you add up. What do you get? Four plus nine thousand three hundred. Yes, thousand three hundred. Okay, then for two nine, you don't add these two because we only add up the highlighted one, the account belum bayar. So for two nine, you add up these two, two thousand four hundred plus two thousand six hundred, you get two four five thousand for two nine. Then for your bank, this two highlight right, this one not highlighted, so you don't care. So sixteen thousand plus uh, 16,000 plus 19,300. Get 35,300. Yes. Alright. So why only these four highlighted? Because these four are account belum bayar. And account belum bayar. Why account belum bayar? Because what we are recording are for account kawalan belum bayar. Alright. Okay. So now for discount, can you see now? All these are actually in the credit side. You read credit discount the buyer. I mean, sorry, discount the bury. You read credit your two nine. You read credit your bank. So if I read credit this trade account now in my account balloon buyer, I must debit them all. So here we got discount D terima two nine and bank. So discount D terima after you add up everything thousand three hundred. And then two nine, you got five thousand. The jumla bank thirty five thousand three hundred. So that's it. All right. So after we complete showing all the information in other Gasini, next will be what? Jumla kan, and then put the HBBB.
So you skip a line, then you do a one line double line for your Joomla. Then you see which side is bigger. So here is the debit side. Here is the credit side for your account countable increment. So you can compare. The debit side is 33,000. The credit side is 21,000. Which one is bigger? Of course, the 33,000, right? Therefore, on your credit side, we need Joomla, you follow 33520. Right, 33520. How do I get this missing figure? Because you add up together, you only get uh, 10,000 something, right? So you have to minus this one. So 33,520 Joomla minus all this figure. Then you get 11,720. And what is this 11,720? This 11,720 is your baki H. H, not BB, is HB. So when you have a HB, you must have a BB on the other side. It must be always opposite. So after October 31st, the other day will be the next day will be uh, October, November, November. What? All right, so you do the same thing for your account Koran Belum Bayar juga. So here, here, one line, double line. Then you jumlakan, jumlakan, use the calculator, and you see, hey, the credit side is 75,000, the debit side only 41,000. Which side is bigger? Of course, the 75,000 now, All right? So this one missing figure, right? So you use this figure minus 35,300 minus 5,000 minus 1,300 minus 380, then you get 33,020. So what is this 33,020? Is your Baki HB. And when you have a Baki HB, then you must have a Baki BB. Mm. So this one, after the day first, the next day will be November 1st. Do you understand? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. Okay, all right. So you guys done up to here? If done, you give me a D in the chat box again. Then give me a D. All right. Okay, so you're not done yet. Almost. Okay, just a little bit more. And this one, the B. Menghitung jumlah jalan and jumlah belas. So now, this one you know lah. Alright, so it's very simple. B1. So you have B1, want to find jumlah jualan. So how do you find jumla jualan? Jumla jualan equals to jualan tunai plus jualan credit. And how do you find this jualan tunai? So how much is this jualan tunai? So jualan tunai, you just look at here in your buku tunai and just focus on all the jualan like this Let 
Jalan Jalan. So this is Jalan. Jalan. And Jalan. All right. So now you just add them up together. Okay. It doesn't matter if it is a Jalan Tunai or Jalan Bank. I don't care. Because Jalan Tunai means Jalan Tunai and Jalan Bank from Bank. Okay. So here, maybe I put here how you get your Jalan Tunai. So Jalan Tunai, I'm going to use. How much? 7,000 plus 5,600 plus 4,200. Is it? So, apa yang you nampak ke buku tunai, as long as they are jalan, then you add them up together. Alright? Then you get, is it 16,800? As uh, Kuban has said, let me use my calculator and double confirm. Yes, you're right. So it's 16,200. So this 16,200 is your Jualan Tunai. Maybe put it here better. Okay, your Jualan Tunai. So Jualan Tunai, you put here. All right, 16,200. But it's not Jumla Jualan. Huh? It's just the Jualan Tunai. 2,800. 800. Oh yeah, 800, right. I'm gonna get 200. Let me try again. 5,600 plus 4,200. Yeah, six, yeah 16,800. Okay, 16,800. Okay. All right, but not done yet. Okay, this is just a drawn tonight. I have to add. Add what? Your drawing credit. How much is your drawing credit? So, if you want to find your drawing credit, this one. Because the drawing in your account, kalau belum terima, memang is the drawing secara credit. So, here you just take on this figure, 12,840. Then, you get so you add them up again 16,800 plus 12,840. You get 29,640. So this will be your Joomla join. Yes, correct. Kuben. Okay, so you use this same logic, you do the Joomla balloon, and it works. All right, so you can try on yourself at the same time. I will guide you. So two, this is the Joomla Berlin. Okay, but before that, look at your Joomla Jolan here. Okay, this Jolan credit you can either find from your Jolan here from your account Kalan Bulim Dorima, or you can sure away get from your journal Jolan, which is your account Jolan 12,840. See, it's the same figure. This one here, from here, here, 12,840. Okay, so come back to here, your Joomla Berlin. So Joomla Berlin is the same thing. It goes to your Berlin Tunai plus your Berlin credit. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so how do we find our Berlin Tunai? It's the same thing. You look at your buku tonight. The balance will always in the credit side. So now you focus. You see any balance word or not? Oh, here balance. Can you see eight thousand hundred? So it's just one. So you just pull up. So the balance tonight is just eight thousand nine hundred ringgit. Okay, but not done yet. I have to add my Berlin credit. So your Berlin credit, you can either find from here, your Berlin in your account column balloon buyer, which is 30,200, or you can go to your Soalan Sini, look at your journal Berlin, your account Berlin here, Joomla, 30,200 is the same figure. So you add 30,200. Then you get, so you add them up, 
8900 tambah 30200 and you get 39100 yes correct 39000 rm 39100 make sure you got the unique currency unit right so for here we are using malaysian uh, ringgit malaysia so you need to put the rm in front okay if you don't put it just straight away right 39100 ah all right so memang be safe put the ringgit malaysia okay because that's more accurate all right so that's it. So this jumlah jalan is your jumlah jalan. Because what you see from here is just a Berlian credit. What you see from here in your book tonight is just a jalan tonight and Berlian tonight sahaja. It's not the jumlah. Okay, you want to find the jumlah, then you need to add them up together. Then only you get the jumlah. Do you understand or not? If yes, you give me a J in the chat box. Put a J in the chat box if you understand for this jumlah. Okay. Bagus. All right. So I think that's all for this uh, account kawalan and the uh, the leisure thing. All right. So of course, later I'll give you more exercises for you to do. But that's all for this part five. You already learned everything that you need to learn for this part five. Okay. So, are you okay or not with this bab lima? If yes, give me a five in the chat box. Lima. Bab lima. So, we completed bab one. Bab one is mostly the theories. Bab two is uh, the classification and persamaan perekanan. All right, where you need to do the jadu. After the jadu, persamaan perekanan, you need to move into the penyata keduaan kewangan for it the uh, the t punya penyata keduaan kewangan okay then the bab tree is a document so from there you need to know what is this document the bill tonight the invoice after the invoice there is a receipt rasmi after that uh, you know blah 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 okay so that is document then bab empat okay then you got the buku cahang pertama so buku cahang pertama you learn or the journal arm, journal belian, journal jualan pulangan, belian pulangan, jualan buku tunai, buku tunai runci. So all the format, all of this one, you must know. Okay, because in form 4, especially you're doing for, sitting for this form 4 test, they, the teacher like to uh, give all these uh, buku catatan pertama related questions. Okay, they, they either ask you to do a buku tunai or buku tunai runci, or they ask you to translate from document into a buku catatan pertama. Or they will ask, they give you ayat or the ayat and then do buku syang pertama. They like, to, they like to give this kind of question. Okay, but then now you learn this bab lima, leisure. Then they also like to give leisure also. Okay, depending on the, the, the teacher lah. Alright, so leisure, just now I told you there are three ways they can test you. From ayat to the leisure, document to the leisure, or buku catatan pertama into the ledger which uh, we learned from last class. Okay, then will be the account kawalan. Right, this account kawalan is actually uh, just a tiny small part, but the real thing is when we go to form five, we need to use this account kawalan. All right, we need to use the account kawalan in BAP two, form five BAP two, and if not mistaken, form six BAP two. Form six, bab two. What do I mean? I mean like bab six, yeah, bab two and bab six from five. All right, we're gonna use this account kawalan again. So make sure you do the homework later, kuasa ikan, and then so that when you move on to form five or you are form five right now, you are doing the question, then you little bit faham. All right, so that's all for this uh bab five. Of course, we still got time yet. Let me go into a new chapter, which is Bab 6. All right, so I will quickly know, uh, depending on how, how much we can do for today. But first, I will give you the introduction for this Imbangan Dugo, which is the Bab 6 to look. 
All right, are you ready for this bab six? If yes, you give me a six in the chat box. Anam. Okay. So this enam is imbangan juga. And imbangan juga in English, we call it a trial balance. This trial balance is very, 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 very important. Especially if you come out to work, you jadi satu uh, accounting assistant ke, or you bought account ke, okay? So, if as long as you're doing account, then you, you need a trial balance. All right? You need to prepare trial balance. You must have bought satu trial balance. And then you need this trial balance later to do the penyata kewangan. And if you don't have this trial balance, memang you can't do a penyata kewangan. What is the penyata kewangan? The account berdagangan, the account untung rugi, the penyata kedudukan kewangan. All these three things are penyata kewangan, which we will learn in our bab 7 later. Next chapter. Lah. All right. But now we must learn this imbangan duga first, lah, the trial balance. If you break down this word trial balance, okay, this is English ah, version of this imbangan duga. Ah. So trial balance, balance means balance. Okay, balance means what? You know what is imbang, right? Balance. Ah. Okay, just like this one. Now this thing or not? Something like the is it how, how it looks like. Uh. Okay, so you know this is this is like a balance. Uh. All right, or you play the thing, okay, up and down one. Okay, so you have to balance it. It cannot be like satu up, satu bawah, atau satu bawah, satu atas. All right, cannot. It must be balanced at the same level. So let's say your debit side is four ringgit. Then your credit side must be four ringgit also. This is what we call imbang. Balance. Understand or not? If yes, give me a B for balance in the chat box. All right. So after that, what is this fungsi for this imbangan juga? You have you akan menyepa, uh, menyemak ketepatan catatan bergu, menyemak ketepatan pengiraan dalam bucara pencatatan pertama dan ledger, menyemak ketepatan proses pemindaan daripada buku catatan pertama ke dalam ledger, empat memudahkan penyediaan. This is it. Memudahkan penyediaan penyata uh, penyata kewangan, and also menyemakkan uh, ketepatan catatan bergu. Catatan bergu ini. Uh, system cara bergula, alright, the debit side and credit side. So when you do a debit and credit side salah, then your trial balance akan tak imbang. So when your trial balance tak imbang, 100% your catatan bergu ada masalah. When I say catatan bergu, I mean debit and credit. So maybe you debit the wrong side, good, atau you go and debit double, uh, dua kali, debit, debit. Okay, but in reality, we need to debit and credit. So when I do that, then only imbang mah. Example, let's say 10. If we want to debit and credit, of course, we'll be debit 10 ringgit, credit 10 ringgit. So imbang dah. Imbang 10 ringgit to 10. But then if you 10 ringgit, debit and credit, in ledger, you go and debit 10 ringgit and debit 10 ringgit again. So what will happen? Your debit side will equal to 20, your credit side will equal to 0. Imbang lah. 1 is 21 is kosong. Cost the imbang lah. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a 1 in the chat box. 
So this is what we mean by imbangan duga, and all these things are linked. Your debit, credit, imbangan duga. All right, next. Next. So this is the format for your imbangan duga. All right, and if you know this format, is actually what I've been teaching you guys. The aba lim. So when you know this aba lim, then you can do this imbangan duga. So seven, do you all know this aba lim already? If yes, you give me a Y. If no, you give me an N. Suda master this aba lim belum dah. If yes, suda master punya, you give me a Y. If belum, you don't know what is this aba lim punya, you give me an N for no. Or why you sure not? I ask you, come on, teach us. And see if you really understand. Okay, so finally someone say and or no. Okay, very good. Okay, so what is this? A B A. So it's called Abala. Okay, this I already mentioned about it, right? So while we are doing the account, belum terima account kawan belum terima the account kawan belum payah. All right. So then the lim. Can you see not L H N? It's not the uncle lim in the lim. I pronounce it as zim. Okay, so there's a H in the middle. All right, so aba zim. All right, so the aba lim is actually the A for asset, B for belanja, A for ambilan, and then the L for liability, H for hasil, and M for the modal. So this is actually a a guideline, I would say, okay, so to guideline for you to do the debit and crediting. You get what I mean? So everything that you see aba, it is listed under the debit side. Manakala, when you see the link, LHM will be under the credit side. Maksudnya, if it is asset yang bertambah, you debit asset, you debit belanja, you debit ambilan. And then for liability, you may want credit liability, credit your hasil, and credit your model. All right. So by the way, this is actually imang duga. So what you do now? What you do now is, you know the abalim now. You should not know what is abalim. So because this imang duga is actually like a format kind of thing. All right. Therefore, you have to add on the top these two things: name of the penegaan, and then. What is the title of this thing? So let's say this is called imbangan duga. So you write imbangan duga by the builder. Let's say by the 31st December. So you write this thing down. Then you record everything down here. All right. So this is the bentuk key. And this is the bentuk penyata. All right. Bentuk key and bentuk penyata, one is other T. And then for penyata, there's no T. But it's the same thing. Instead of T, they put debit and credit. So all this X, X, X is actually the numbers, the figure. All right. So now you just put like that. Aba, lim. We know that the Aba is asset. Ma. I mean the debit. Ma. Right. So all this Aba will be in the debit side. Can you see now? And then the Zim, LHM, will be in the credit side. So you just throw in the fields. Do you understand or not? If yes, you give me a one in the chat box. Satu. Bagilah satu. Okay. Now, oh, this is a system inventory later. Okay. So before I start, I think we won't be able to have time to go through the imbangan duga by due day, but definitely next class. Okay, but what we can do now is first thing first to test how good you are with abalim. So you can see how we apply here, and you can use this abalim 
if you don't know classification. Very super important. Okay, classification means you have to know what is asset, which one is Belanger, which one is ambulance, which one is liability, which one is hassle, which one is model. If you don't even know this thing, classification, which is in part two, then it's a bit hard for you for you to use our game. All right, because we go by level here. Okay, you when you're going for game, you're playing games, okay, there are a few levels you need to go through. If you are at level one, you cannot straight away from level one, you jump to level 10 and then you want to fight the boss, which is insane. Okay. Why? Because you only level one, the the, the life you have is only for level one, meaning very short. The skill that you have, the attack power that you have is so low. When you see, when you meet a boss in level 10, Gassini, only one shot by the boss, you, you, you saw Amati, game over. Right? For you need to go by one, one by one. Level one, the boss, you, you go to level two, you win the boss, and then you upgrade yourself. Longer life, little bit power with your uh, weapon. Okay, then you go to level three, level four, level five, Maman, slowly go, 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 level 10. And then finally, you have the power, the strength to fight the boss in the level 10. So same thing in accounting. That's why they go by bug one, bug two, bug three. So in bug two, you should learn, you, you should have really learned all the classification thing. So when you learn the classification, you know which one asset, asset, bukan semasa, asset, semasa, labi, bukan semasa, labi, semasa. You can classify them. Okay, then you can use this abadlim, which is a higher level thing. You see that oh, abadlim is very simple, only six things. But if you can use this, you understand it, they can bring you up to your university level, your degree, and even graduate with it, with this abadlim thing. Okay, so stop with my blowing. Let's go on. Okay, so parabola. So you have to know, what is this parabola? First, you have to classify first. Parabot is satu asset. You have to know it's an asset. So if parabot is an asset, then only refer back to my abalim. So if parabot is asset, where is A, my asset is in here, meaning the debit side, therefore, is debit. Clear or not clear? If clear, you give me a C. Uh, right? This one, uh, you see very simple, uh, two ticking only, but very, very important. Okay, next. Upa. Upa. What is upa? Upa means something like a gaji. Upa in English, we, I think is called allowance. Okay, so this upa, how do you differentiate upa and gaji? So it's the same thing, it's like a salary. So upa and gaji. Okay, so upa normally is like by hour. One color gaji is by bulan, salary. It's monthly salary. Okay, so if it is paid by monthly bulan, so cara bulan punya, then normally you call it as a gaji. Uh, berapa gaji awak? But then if you go by hours, let's say you go McDonald's and work part-time by hour, bunya. so you got work, then we pay you. You don't work, then we don't pay you. According to our if you work eight hours, then we pay the money for that eight hours. So that is that thing we call upa. All right? So this upa or gaji, both are actually a belanja, B for belanja. All right? See here, man. All right, this is uh, Abad Lim. I already mentioned that. Asset A for asset B for Belanja, right? So this is actually a, a Belanja. So this Belanja B, can you see or not? Find a B here in the debit set. So this is a D debit. Continue. Pinjaman, a liability L. A liability where? In the credit side. Therefore, it will be in the credit side of your Imbangan Duga. Pulangan Belian. See ya? Belian memang is be a belanja. Tengah. Belian. B is a belanja. Therefore, if belian is in the debit side, pulangan belian. Maksudnya, you change. So if belian is in the deb debit side, you add a pulangan, it becomes on the 
credit side. Okay or not? If okay, you give me okay in the chat box. So this pulangan bulan is actually a contra. Okay, a contra of your bulan, meaning opposite of your bulan. All right, therefore it's in the credit side. Okay, then next, machine a machine. Machine is an asset, asset A in the debit side. You see, insurance atas bulan. Insurance, when you see insurance, blah, 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 insurance is all a belanja. A belanja B, then the debit side. Alat tulis. Debit side. Alat tulis is a belanja juga. B, overdraft bank. Bank is asset. When you see an overdraft bank, then is a liability. So L, liability in the credit side. Okay, then jualan. So think, jualan is actually a hasil. Hasil means jualan. When you jual, you dapat hasil. Lah. Right. Therefore, jualan is in the credit side. But when you have a pulangan from jualan, I mean from credit side, you become a debit side for pulangan jualan. All right. Angkutan. When you see angkutan, memang a belanja B. B in the debit side. Charge bank. Charge ma. So it's a belanja. So debit. Bank. Bank is a asset. Asset is in the debit side. Save a D terima. When you see a D terima, D terima, D terima is a hasil. H. All right. Save a D terima meaning you, you, you terima save. You terima rental. So when you terima rental is a form of hasil. It's a form of income. So when it's an income, hasil, where is it at? In the credit side. So credit. Belanja post. They already tell you the belanja B. Lah. B, debit. Kenderaan. Cars, vehicles. Okay, your BMW, your Mercedes, your Bentley, your Rolls Royce, your van, okay, lorry, all these kenderaan, asset, debit. Discount debury, you bury gun discount. So it is a belanja. And some more they give you a B. Remember that discount debury B. B for belanja. Belanja, debit side. So far, are you following? If yes, give me an F in the chat box. Make sure you are following. Huh? Then after that, maybe you can take the photo down because I didn't send you this file, right? Okay, later I will send to the group. Okay, but now, I mean later, like, if you are doing, you can actually write down on your notebook or later I send you the file, then only complete it. Okay, but you can take photo later. Okay, then Berlian, B for Belanja. You see, these are some tricks that you can use. Right, some of Berlian is like a belanja. When you buy things, you buy shopping, you beli barang, you beli baju, it's a belanja. Ma. They say, oh, you spend a lot of money, expenses, you beli baju. Yalah. So when you beli, it's a belanja. So B, debit side. Angkutan keluar, angkutan belanja. Okay, so angkutan is what? Delivery fee, shipping fee. You need to pay shipping fee. So when you need to pay, it's a belanja. B, where? Debit side. That's why it's in the debit side. Faedah di baya, baya bi, baya memang ya lah, belanja lah. Alright, so debit. Premise is an asset. What is premise? All the bangunan, shop lot. You see all those restaurants, all the houses, all the shops are all considered under category of premise. And all these are actually what? Asset lah, right? So, A, debit side. Duty atas belian. So, when you see a duty, duty is like some kind of tax. So you have to pay tax when you beli barang. So is that a belanja? Of course, yes. Imagine if it is not a belanja, ah, think ah, if it is a tax when you pay, is it asset? Ah? Is it your, your asset? Ah? No. Is it liability? Ah? Are you owing them? You straight when you pay, lah, you can, can you owe that? Can you hutang that? Tak boleh hutang lah. Okay? So memang bukan L, not L. Is it a H? Is it a hasil when you pay duty? When you pay tax? Cukai, tax. All right? When you pay tax, do you have this? Is it a hasil income? No. So definitely not H. Is it the model? Definitely no. Is it an ambulance? No. Then, belanja lah. And truly, is a belanja because you pay the duty tax. All right? Then next, dividend. Determinant. Whenever you see determinant, know that this is a hasil. And hasil is in the credit side. Sama lah. You see? Save a determinant. Hasil, credit side. Yeah, now on the 
Here, model M is M, right? So it's in the credit side model. Credit side, alatan pejabat, this is asset. Debit, tunai asset. Debit, ambilan. See, uh, not ambilan. I already tell you that A, B, A, ABA, the last A is the ambilan in the web. Debit side, so you debit. Kada janji, this is a liability. Kada janji is like, you are the barang, okay? But then, uh, you go and janjikan. How do I put it? Uh? Let's say you want to borrow money. Okay, but then you don't, you can't borrow money because uh, you don't have the, how do I put it? Uh? You, let's say the bank don't, don't lend you money. Okay, you want to borrow, but they don't allow. So what you can do is you take some valuable things like houses, you got house, you got car. Then car normally, you no know, people use car, but let's say house. Let's say you got other emas. Okay, you got gold. Okay. All these valuable things. Okay, you can go to a shop. And then you say, I nak gadai janji ni. And see how they value this thing. So when they value this, oh, I see this emas. I think in this market around 10,000 ringgit. Okay, so now you can put the, the emas there. And then the person will borrow us, will lend us 10,000 ringgit. Of course, other interest. All right. So if after, after a few years or after a few pulan, there's a expiry date, lah, right? Okay, agreement. So if dalam contract ini, you ta datang balik and pay back the money for your emas, then they will just take it and jaw lah. All right. So that is a kind of borrowing, pinjaman. That's why kada janji is a liability. It's a hutang mah. Therefore, a liability is in the credit side. Do you understand this kada janji thing? If yes, you give me a one in the chat box. Okay, next. Pelaburan, pelaburan saham. Saham is like share. Okay, investment. So it's actually asset. All right, inventory awal. Asset lah. Right, inventory our asset commission jualan commission. You get commission when you when you draw when you sell things. So it's a kind of income, a hasil, hasil. So it's in the credit side. Account belum bayar, you know, it's a liability. Credit side belanja am. Later you belanja. So debit side, ABT, asset debit side. Gaji is a Belanja, debit side, kada bayaran, bayar, whenever you see a buyer, buyer, buyer is a belanja, so it will be in the debit side. Jualan is a hasil, hasil, H is about lim, LH will be in the credit side. Tana, you got land or what is the land? Land is actually an asset, so debit side, insurance is a belanja, so B in the debit side, lekapan is the asset. Lekapan is like those uh, fixture and fixed things. It's just like your kelengkapan. Right? Or your light, the lampu, your kipas, the ceiling, or the, the air con, all these are kelengkapan, lekapan, all right? Fixtures and fittings. So it's the asset. So you'll be in the debit side. But you see a determiner, you don't have to think twice, it's a hasil, hasil will be in the credit side. Iklan, advertisement. All right, promotion. You see all the all those billboard when you pass through the highway. You nampak ada satu besar besar punya Coca Cola like this drinking. So there's an advertisement. There's an iklan. So when you do that, when Coca Cola do that, have to pay or not? Need to pay lah, right? So iklan advertisement is a belanja. So B debit side. Simpanan tetap. This is like a fixed deposit. All right, fixed deposit is an asset. Debit. Chuka pintu. Chuka pintu is a tax. It's another form of tax that you need to pay. You ask your parents, eh, hey, uh, ibu, papa, ada bayar chuka pintu dah? Of course, they say they will pay lah. Okay, they, mereka akan bayar. If they don't pay chuka pintu, then the LHDN guy will come to your house and knock. Okay, kenapa dah bayar your chuka pintu? And then maybe you need, they will collect back your house. <laughs> Alright, so need to pay your chuka pintu. Meaning every pintu yang ada, because every house you must see other pintu punya mah, you got door, pintu, door. No, it's door, right? Pintu, right? So a house, memang ada pintu. So that's why it's called a jukai pintu. You need to pay uh, the, the tax for your house. 
all right but that is a, about six depending on your house all right you, if it's a bungalow big house then of course it'll be more expensive lah, but it's about a few hundred lah, okay every year all right so this is a belanja so debit okay then commission didarima didarima don't have thing is a hasil so hasil is in the credit side so and take photo take 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 this thing all right so okay now if okay you give me an okay so this is how i use abalim and do this whole thing so you can actually see i can do very fast all right so as long as you can identify you can classify again the keyword classification classification which is in your bar two all right so if you know how to classify which one ambilan the tuna is asset or liability once you can do that and then you add another weapon which is the aba link or oh, then you are the best uh, accounting student in your class <laughs> i'm telling you all right okay so now I'll give you homework then you go back and do so what is your homework for today um Jack first. Okay, so you go to page one one four. You have to do question twenty eight, question twenty nine, question thirty. Then page one o six. Do question. 15 and question 16. All right, 114, 28, 29, 30. This is uh, the account kawalan. All right, kawalan belum terima, belum uh, bayar. And 106, question 15 and 16 is your ledger. All right, so these are the uh, five questions that you need to do for today. Then next class, then we would start doing the questions for Imbangan Duga. And then we have to prepare like this one. You have to buy Imbangan Duga. Uh, then you know how to do it. All right, but it's very simple already. All right, so that's all for today. No question, then I will see you in next class. All right, so goodbye everyone and thank you.